Welcome, namaste. Thank you for joining me in beautiful, beautiful Bali. I'm at Kamaya Retreat right now, which is one of my favorite places to come. And I'm really excited to soon be doing a retreat here, I believe. So stay tuned. Um, 2024, I cannot wait to, to create community here. It's uh, a beautiful gathering place. Mm. And the birds. <laughs> I've been into birds lately and I love just watching. Yeah, what a good spot. Anyway. I've been teaching here in uh, Bali the last month at my old studio, Radiantly Alive. If you're around, I highly recommend it. Um, and just taught a fun sequence yesterday. And it was kind of theming on curiosity. And one of the niyamas in Patanjali's uh, Eight Limbs of Yoga is Svadhyaya, and it's self-inquiry. And, you know, branching out a little bit, I'm going to say curiosity. And that's one thing that I really love about this practice and not just the asana, which are the movements, but the path of yoga in general is that I know that I will never be bored on this path. Like it continues to expand and the amount of rabbit holes that I go down because of the fascinations of the different angles and the ways that I learn. Um, I learn a little bit about this and then it takes me all these ways or I'll start to, you know, look at this uh, side of the practice and it takes me down all of these ways. And not just in yoga, but just in the whole self-discovery and world discovery in general. I'm like, what am I going to be into in a few years? Like, I had no idea I was going to be into birds. I was on a bird walking tour the other day. And just like, they just delight me. And, you know, that happens due to our ability to be present in the world and to stay curious and not get lost it's so easy to get lost in the patterns of our life, in our habituations, our samskaras. But when we pause and come back to presence, come back to what is here now, and dial up our curiosity a little bit more, even 1% more than our patterns, then who knows what's possible, yeah? So today, let's just move and breathe. Take what works, leave the rest, and try to stay in your body. Stay with the breath and see what comes up. When your presence is present, then the possibilities are open. Yeah? And I also encourage you not to do all the things that I say. Explore on your own a bit, too. Yeah? Let's begin in child's pose. Ah. Oh. Take one more look at the view first, and then let's pour down into child's pose. Just three rounds of breath to connect. Setting a little bit of a metronome, so set the pace that you'd like to take with you through this little sequence. And then chin to chest, press down through the shins and pop up into tabletop position, organic movement in the spine and see if you can find an anti-pattern. <laughs> so when you notice that you're in a pattern, do something different. And remember the curiosity just needs to be like 1% stronger than the pattern for the possibility to open. There's nothing wrong with familiarity. It's more like, is it a choice? Have we chose to do the pattern? Have we chose to do the thing that we always do? Or is it happening like a Mary Nundle? That's when it gets challenging. So a couple more moments, swiggling. And then really find firm foundation with the hands. Press down through kind of gecko palms here. Slight lift in the center of the palm. Tuck the toes. Press up and back, downward facing dog. Going right into it. Wag the tail, bend the knees, and find yourself here. Locate yourself in this pose. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Bend the knee and open the hip. Push more into the right hand, just slightly more into the right hand. Maybe come onto the left fingertips. 
steady breath, really push into the right hand. And then gaze forward, big step forward, puff up the back of the heart, plant the right foot down. Back knee comes down, and as it does, lift up Anjaneyasana, big swoop of the arms. Once more like that. Inhale. And hands plant down. Pop up into L shape. Press through the standing leg. Left leg lifts up. And then lift the right heel. Pour the forehead down. Like pour the head down. Kind of like you're in standing splits. And the left leg's going to come down. Maybe suck up in the left uh, hip crease for a little bit. So that the toes kind of float off the ground. We're going to kick the leg forward into a skater pose. Stay here for a moment. Maybe the hands reach forward, grab the foot, and then take a seat down. Right leg opens. Johnny Shirshasana, lift the arms up, and then pour forward. Three ripples of the spine. Mm, undulation. Delicious undulation. Lift up, spiral towards the right. Right hand plant, stargazer, press and lift. And exhale, release. Listen up, we're coming back into L shape. So if you have blocks, this is great. Chin to chest, kind of scoop at the tailbone just slightly round the upper back and press through the right foot. Drag the left foot back and up. L shape, beautiful. Bend the standing leg. Big step back. Pyramid pose. Lengthen the front leg. Inhale, ripple one breath. And exhale, fold forward. Press down through the hands. Puff up the back of the heart. Maybe the hands are on blocks here. Flex the front foot. Maybe you can lift the heel just slightly and then drag it back, downward facing dog. When I'm saying kind of suck up through the hip, you're just kind of lifting as if you could kind of pull the joint smaller together, like kind of suck up just slightly. Just helps to give a bit of space. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Bend the knees, open the hips. So there's a little external rotation on both thighs. More weight into the left foot. Maybe come onto the right fingertips. And then big step forward, puff up the back of the heart, step through. Back knee slowly plants, and as it does, big opening on Janayasana. And exhale, come down. Once more. L shape. Hands plant the ground or blocks. Right leg comes up. Standing leg can be as bent as you'd like. I have my belly on my thigh. And then lift the heel, pour the head down. And as the right leg comes down, maybe it stays straight, kind of suck the hip up slightly and bring it all the way through into skater pose. There's lots of different ways that that can look. So <laughs> stay curious about what's possible and what's not possible. Maybe stay for a moment. And then take a seat, open up Janu Shirshasana. Lift and pour. Three ripples of the spine. With breath. Push. Lift, stargazer. and release. All right, coming back into L shape, yeah? So kind of around. Push into the left foot and drag the right leg back and up. L shape. And then bend the standing leg, big step back. Lengthen the front leg pyramid, one ripple. Plant the hands, flex the front foot, puff up the back of the heart, and push the hands so much that maybe you can slightly glide the left leg back, 
Downward facing dog. All right, ripple forward plank pose. Bend the knees, hips clip up, downward facing dog. So just rinsing out the spine. Full round of breath. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, big step through in between the hands. Press down and lift up, crescent lunge, big windmill of the arms. And exhale, hands plant L-shape, pounce forward. Lift up the front heel, pour the forehead forward as you scoot through skater pose. Maybe grab for the foot. That actually really helps me stay up. Heart reaches forward. Do what you can. Do what's possible today. It's always shifting. And then L-shape. Press or really scoop. L-shape. All right. Listen up. Bend the standing leg. Coming into one leg mountain. So press through the standing leg. Come up. Left leg lifts. Steady breath. And maybe extend the left leg long. And then we're gonna bring the left leg down, kind of suck it up through the hip a little bit. So it's a little, it doesn't quite touch the ground. Airplane, bend the standing leg, airplane. Find cobra in the back. And then wave the hands forward. Big step back, crescent lunge, wave the heart up. And then hands plant down, pyramid pose. Inhale, wave up, ripple. Pour forward. Hands plant, toes flex, press and drag the foot back downward facing dog. Ripple forward, wave. Bend in the knees, hips come high, downward dog. Right into the other side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, big step through. Crescent lunge, press down, lift up, windmill the arms. And exhale, wave them down. Pounce forward, L shape. Pour the head down, lift the front heel, and then scoop through, foot flexed, into skater pose. Stay for a couple rounds of breath. Booty can come up or down. Heart lifts. And then begin to scoop again. Lots of core there. L shape. Bend the standing leg, knee to the chest, one leg mountain, however you'd like to get there. If you fall out, just come back in. Maybe extend the leg long. Full round of breath. And then bring the leg down straight. Suck it up just slightly so that it doesn't touch the ground as it pours back. Airplane. Cobra on the upper back. Windmill the hands or wind the hands forward. Big step back. Crescent lunge. And pour, sprinkle the hands down. Lengthen the front leg pyramid. One round of breath. Plant the hands, puff up the back of the heart, flex the foot and drag the leg back. Downward dog. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. And exhale, wave back, downward facing dog. Full round of breath here. So. Take a notice of what's happening and what's not happening and how you feel about what is or is not happening. And see if you can dial down the judgment knob and just a little click up of the curiosity. A reminder that we get to make the pose fit in our body. We're not trying to get our body in a pose. These are all just suggestions in order to play in order to explore. Inhale, right leg lifts, a little bit different this time, and exhale, big step forward. Press into the front foot, lift up, crescent lunge, big opening. 
Windmill the hands. And exhale, hands plant L shape. This time the leg comes down, so kind of scoop it the hip up and see if we can come up into standing with the leg not touching the ground. Maybe you grab for the foot. Your choice. Maybe the knee's bent, maybe you're in one leg mountain, doesn't matter. Find your way into airplane from wherever you are into airplane. Wave the hands forward and as they touch, big step back, press down, lift up, crescent lunge. And exhale, pyramid pose. Ooh, that always feels good. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, release. A little bit different, left hand plants, side plank. Your choice what this looks like. There's so many side plank options. You can take a wild thing if you'd like. You could take traditional side plank or go off center here. Find your arches and play. Downward facing dog. Ripple forward. And wave back. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, big step through. Stay curious here. Both sides are different. Could be a whole nother adventure. Inhale, windmill the arms. And exhale, L shape. See if you can leave the leg long and we're gonna come right up into one leg mountain. Maybe you catch the foot and come up. Pai Gustasana. Wherever you are, steady breath. And release into airplane. Smooth, steady. Hands wave forward as the fingertips touch, big step back, push and lift, crescent lunge. And exhale, hands come down, pyramid pose. One breath, ripple. Right hand plants, side plank, your choice. I love this new weird version thing. It gives me lots of options and possibility, but do what feels good in your body. And we meet downward facing dog. One more ripple forward. This time the knees slowly drip down and the hips come back to the heel. Palms up, steady breath. Find yourself here. Notice heartbeat. Observe the pulse. Watch the thought. The poses are fun, but they are not important. They are really just decoration for the breath, which supports us in staying present, in staying engaged, in being in the middle of our life. Yoga asana, the breath, meditation are all just tools in order to connect back with ourselves to get to know ourselves a little bit better from different angles. Thank yourself for carving out the time. And thank you for your presence and your breath and your trust. Bring your hands together, thumbs at the third eye, and let's pour forward in thanks. Ah. 
<sighs> Beautiful. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope that, yeah, the sequence was fun. Um, yeah, my last couple days here, it's quite, quite majestic. Bali always keeps me curious, always keeps me in wonder for sure. So if you're ever interested in exploring, you may even be able to come and practice right here in this space with me at some point. Keep ears open about that. Um, I would look forward to it. You can learn more about my offerings, coldchanceyoga.com. Lots of things always on the go. Otherwise, I'll see you next time here on your mat. If you're enjoying these classes, then I want to invite you to my membership service, CCY Studio. This is where we get to explore with longer classes, full length classes, and we get to investigate not only more into the physical body and longer shavasanas, but also yogic and Buddhist philosophy and more time to marinate and percolate with all of it. Also just putting up a new asana library. And this has about 10 of the core poses and really intricate ways and investigations to put it not only in your body, but also some teaching tips. So if you're a teacher, this is really valuable as well. So if you're interested, you get a 14 day free trial. You can cancel at any time. And I just encourage you to check it out. I think that it's a beautiful place to go a little bit deeper. So I hope to see you over there. You can find more details in the links below.